Hello, gang, and welcome back to Remnant 2. So, Fen and I are here. We're, uh, we're in the endgame content, essentially, which is super cool to say about Remnant 2 now that uh, we have expunged all the DLCs and the devs are pretty much at a point <laughs> where... I, I don't think they're not dropping support, but there's no more major content coming to the game. I'm sure they'll do a couple more big title updates um, as they move into getting ready to launch whatever their next game may be, which will probably be a few years away. I think it's going to be the new uh, Darksiders game. Gunfire Games probably. is working on. Though yeah. it, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, another division is working on that and then they have a team working on the Remnant 3. Um, super Quite cool. Possibly. Anyways, uh, we, we are here to talk about farming in Remnant 2. And what are we farming for? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're pretty much farming for everything. So Fen and I uh, finished the DLC up. We were messing around. I was build testing, and I started running boss rush mode and noticed, like, oh, I'm getting a lot of good stuff. Oh, I'm getting things I didn't know you could get here. Oh, I'm getting stuff I need that I didn't know where to farm efficiently. So... Here we are, and we're going to do some tests. So we're going to run through a boss rush mode on easy and then on veteran. We're going to see what the reward differences are, and uh, then I'll break it all down. I think what will happen is if you hear this and you see this, it'll be a lot of sped up footage. We'll kind of slow down at the points, but we'll make this a short farming video and stuff. So, yeah, Fen and I are here, and I think we're ready to go. Fen, are you ready? Do you got anything to add here? You're the, you're the smart one. You're the Sherpa. Uh... This game is awesome. The devs have done some really amazing things, and uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm so right on board there. Uh, very good. Very glad to be back. But uh, even gladder to be farming for stuff we want. <clears throat> yes. Well, and that's where like this is the cool thing is boss rush mode. The way they implemented it is such an amazingly eloquent design decision that not only solved some problems they had, but did it in a way that's super fun and neat for the game that is just absolutely the best. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sums it up. And uh, it's, it's what we really want for like an ongoing content. And, and one of the things that we really have come to love it is like because of this farming and what you get out of it because what we're looking at the big thing we're after is corrupt shards to get our corrupted weapons our uh, yep. aberration weapons essentially wow and what was crazier about like finding out the best way to get these corrupt shards is that it also led us to learn that the boss rush mode will drop you will essentially drop you <coughs> Any kind of world drop item. World uh, drop and, rings and necklaces and stuff, yeah. And beyond that, the reality is, is I think what we're seeing is it's going to drop specific things you don't have in your inventory because last night I got an Ard Blast. And, yep. and that really beckons the question that is it going to drop specific gear pieces? Because most of the stuff we looked up and saw and we're, we're noticing we're coming were all world drop stuff. So... The reality is that... Jesus Christ. Uh, if you want it, the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm right going to come grab that there. totem. Because <laughs> yeah. one thing we, we kind of argue is that we don't like the idea of getting world-specific drops. I don't want to see new amulets and rings that you have to, like, work for. Do that something are... specific for, yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what we're after. Um, but random world drop stuff, for sure. Hook it up, because that's the kind of thing in an RNG-based game you have to pour over for days, months. Like, look, it took me four years to get the Platinum Trophy was, on Returnal. and I was just about to say, what are you talking about, Returnal Platinum? <laughs> yeah, and RNG games are, in my opinion, absolute hell. Um, yep. So... But giving another way to get those drops without just going, well, I know I need something from the random Yasha loot table. I guess I'm playing random Yasha maps until I see it is not fun. But hey, I could play Boss Rush and I've got high odds of getting random loot table things I don't have. Heck yeah, that's great. <laughs> exactly. And now we kind of broke it down to the Boss Rush, the, uh, the one we're running, Trial by Fire, which is seven bosses. It only took us about 20 minutes, roughly, to do? 25, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that, that looks we also... 
we also noticed that you're getting four corrupt shards. So in an hour, you can get enough to unlock a gun. If you're after the corrupt shards, you know, if you missed the event, you didn't manage to get all those shards and stuff like that. And then... And that is on top of everything else it gave. <laughs> and you're dead. Um, yeah. yeah, that's on top of everything else. So you're getting corrupt luminite, and then, like we said, you're going to get rings, you're going to get all kinds of stuff. It's, it's crazy, so... This essentially, we're we're just trial running it. We're we're just seeing what the difference in rewards are between uh, what is it, survivor and veteran. Yep. Mm -mm. So, yeah, we are en route and obviously well on our way. We brought our two super death builds in. Corrupt luminite, corrupt luminite. Yeah. Yeah. Because on top of that too, even those midpoint chests we're noticing give some very good loot. As a, things like high relic shards, uh, weapon and. Yeah. Gun mods you might you get, not have on top of giving corrupt shards as well. Mutators, you get the mutators, not the uh, mods. Mutators, I haven't seen any mods sorry, yet, yeah. but yeah, and you are getting your, you will get your stacking relic shards. So the other thing to check is if in Nightmare if they do drop at Mythic, because obviously there's a, there's a tier for every kind of. Yeah, I could see Nightmare and uh, Annihilation, not Annihilation, uh, Apocalypse dropping Mythic shards. Yes. Yeah. So, it's just kind of annoying. Oh, do you see that there? I've got totem and chest on me. Awesome. I'm gonna shut this down. No more room. Hot damage. I want to get on this. Uh, yeah, mod build up. All mod... Oh, did, did he oh, just die to your I, AoE? Uh, yeah, I, I killed it, yes. Woo! Bro, wrong place, homie. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, for all you kids at home, uh, if you thought uh, Nebula was good before it was corrupted, holy moly, it gets even better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love how you're running that, man. I'm definitely going to have to mess around with those, but for right now, I'm not really, no bullets needed, essentially, right? Uh, oh, Death no, Dealer. That's... Death Dealer is a build you can find in my build. Um, yeah, this this build's been phenomenal. Oh, this is Koala again. Uh, it sure yep. is. Uh, this will be fun. <laughs> Where you at, scumbag? And are you going to ground? Are you going to get to go to ground? Damn, just barely. I mean, barely, barely, he's back and he's gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, first, right. Oh man, they are ammo. they are just pushing that mod <laughs> that mod build up in here, dude. I just got oh, my second one. I have skill cooldown and skill damage. Oh, that is <laughs> gross. <laughs> so yeah, the the reality of it is it comes down to so more we're hitting more luminite. Okay, so that's a yep. thing. Uh, the reality of it is that we're really just uh, we're really just testing out to see what the rewards are here. But I, I think, like in in all honesty, there's no better place to farm now for almost anything, except for luminite. From what I can tell, I except don't remember for seeing any luminite, luminite. And specific world drops. If you're looking for something yeah. you can only be found in like say like the sewer dungeon puzzle and loan some stuff like that which we will need to do a bit more research on as oh, we have a lot more i know we need to do on the room 100 <laughs> percent uh no not not that like there's lots of things to do but what i'm more saying is like we just need to really look into because the fact that i got an art oh i got the totem here oh my god mod again <laughs> um the fact that I got an R blast, right? Now, what I hope yes. is that it kind of tracks. It'll give you weapons that you have that you've gotten. The yes. Really, dude? Are you serious? Did that guy just get evaporated? <laughs> yeah. That guy got hard evaporated. So yeah, the test is that we want to make sure that you're getting the weapons that you've kind of already done the requirements for. And like we said, like we half the enjoyment of this game is solving the puzzles and figuring things out. So. That's uh, that's what we're after. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this ought to be good. 
Balin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're on easy, so. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a joke. Balin. Uh, oh, it's Balin. My mistake. Oh yeah, right. He's uh, doing good damage. Oh no, never mind. I heals you fast. This is the severe damage I output. All oh, rage. <laughs> Come on, bud, you can be better than that. Uh, Get down here. <laughs> yeah, that's not me and the swords. <laughs> oh, they dropped the marks. Get those marks. Oh. Oh, he's in stage three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can kill the little the balls dropping the swords. Is he still that death growl is pretty good, Buzz. Yeah, you keep showing off, homie. <laughs> keep showing off. Oh, we're on boss four already? Jesus, so fast. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, we're the one, uh, whatever it is, survivor. It's not yeah. that bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minute run. I can't wait to see <laughs> Annihilation. Oh, yeah. I think about the only thing that has a chance of killing us is ourselves. <laughs> Did you see the thing? Do we want the thing, or should we just go? Oh, there's uh, our aberration. Oh, is he? Is he weirdly dead? Yep, aberration's dead. Killed him through the wall. Uh, the thing is. Yep, I see here. it. Yeah, that's what we're after. Did you get a chest too? Uh, yeah, I did. I got the chest. It was in the other corner. Okay. <laughs> More mod. Uh, uh, more skill damage. <laughs> I'm going take, take fire rate for me. Mod and fire rate work. And uh, noticing how the perks work here, it's very similar how to new, the uh, new cores and shard fragments work. What are those, those things called again? <clears throat> yeah, the stacking upgrades, essentially. Uh, the relic, yeah. They're still relic fragments, aren't they, in the uh, prisms? Yeah, the prisms, sorry. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I know who this is. Yeah. Juicy. This will be fun. This will be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like this was probably the best boss they added in the uh, Lydasa DLC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't mind the final fight actually. With the the different stages of it, were really different, really unique in my opinion. Um, but yes. again, this guy was like he was. He was just oh, so rad. By far. Well, and the only reason I say that is now that we've got the Naruto, but I feel like the Naruto fight is very much what the Lydusa fight is wanting to be. Bye. Uh... Oh, there we go, mod damage. Yeah, that's, that's necessary. All right, so there we have our first uh, Corrupted Shard, so... Shard. Okay. Pipe bomb, two Not pipe bad. bombs out of that. That's two pipe bombs yeah. on Survivor too. Like that's this is still even even for what this is running on Survivor. This is quick. It's convenient. You're gonna corrupt Luminite. This is again, we've been playing for a total of 14 minutes. Just good stuff. Uh... Which is odd because I think time frame wise, like uh, we're looking at running that? like the same same amount of time per. Pretty close, yeah. Mm. So we gotta check that corner. Oh, no, big one. Yeah, yeah sure I'll, go, I'll go check the corner real quick. Yeah, sure not, nothing. Oh, Palpatine. 
I got the uh, shard here. Uh, that's all I really care about. Cause I don't think these middle chests have like, anything of too crazy worth. Yeah, I mean I like getting them, but we don't need to go running around looking for them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And all done. Oh, I'll bet you the chest right here. Nope. Nope. Well, we're off. We are off. Looks like it should be. <laughs> right? That's a trope. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta reload. Yep. Mm. Is this six and then Annihilation? I think so. It says right under the map what one we're on. Yeah. Five at the top. Five of seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so two more. Oh, this is we did this yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we did. It was hilarious. <laughs> Oddly enough, I'm gonna need to get uh, kind of close. Yeah, you and me both, pal. <laughs> I don't know if I can stand in the middle of the room. Heck yeah. He back in the thing? No, he's up uh, top above the orb. Oh my god. He doesn't have enough health to do this. <laughs> no, he did not. He did not have enough of anything. God, you start stacking up some of these modifiers and ugh, skill damage, I mod may damage, may not mod have, cooldown, skill cooldown. I may or may not have 50% skill damage right now, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Okay, so we got another Corrupted Luminite here. There's, uh, you see, we just picked up Opportunist and, and another and Relic like Fragment. Those Relic Fragments are from Relics right, we already have, and it was yeah. solid level. So, yeah, they're on near the lowest tier, it looks like. Yeah, another thing that we are talking about, and it'll be good to take a look at, is... I should check this right now. So, the amount of XP we're going to pull for our prism. Uh, so, I've, I've got a level zero one on right now. I will report my results to you. Yeah. And then that versus the idea of how much are we getting in the other... Uh, I think we need to go up that other path first. Probably. How much are we getting uh, Survivor versus Better for XP, right? Yes. So, and be able to you'll crunch probably that. Have a, oh, yeah. You'll probably have another level zero person as I go through that one, too, because I'm going to try and build a good one right here. Yeah, speaking of which, I think I might, for the Veteran run, I'll switch on my new Prism and level it. This guy, what do we get? I think damage. Um, what? The bonuses might go above the soft, the hard caps. <laughs> yeah, I think so, considering that guy just fucking completely I have evaporated. 50% skill cooldown right now, too. There? From my purse. <laughs> there's an elevator back there, Fen. It leads, uh,. It goes up, down in the little area. If you want to check it again, no, not at all. I'm ready yeah. to uh, get this over with. Yeah, it's it's just a little weird map tile thing. It's nothing crazy. Up, our way. Yeah, I actually just take a weapon. Big and ugly just died in your fucking AOE. That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take the weapon box. Ooh, new Shahala. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here we. go. Go. <laughs> Looks like it's the alt kill still too. That'll be fun. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, this was interesting last time. I uh, I definitely gonna use my 
Oh use no, my, it's a base kill. Use Ooh. my shooty powers a bit more. I love that. No hits. Come on, buddy. Okay, so the base kill still acts like this. Gotcha. Yep, be careful. Let me blink out, shred the hands, <laughs> and he just dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was gross. Very good, though. Get that skill damage up, and straight to Annihilation, I think, is our... Straight to Annihilation. Exit point now. <laughs> Alright, let me quick look on my stuff. So we've got a supply baseline. Joy, Corrupt Luminite, one Corrupt Shard. Okay. Mm. And yeah, I'll be roughly close to that. This way we can keep track of how many drop at the end, because what's going to happen when you come outside of this, you're probably going to get a chunk, you're going to see a chunk of resources, and then all our kind of our items drop. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. Hey, bud. Wow, the muscle memory did not take long to come back. <laughs> oh, I mean, after doing this guy on Tex Bros. Yep. Now he shreds. Are we even gonna get teleported? At this rate, probably not. <laughs> Maybe one. Nope. Not That's if it. I have anything to say about it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> Alright, we're laughing here. We just did that on the easiest difficulty. That's funny. But still, 20 minutes, 6 boss clears, super we clean. Yep. Let's track those rewards. Woohoo! One hit wonder. <laughs> that makes sense. We did oh. about the same damage dealt. <laughs> yeah, I saw. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's almost the same XP, though. I'm pretty sure is what we got. So 28k, remember that. Okay, it's uh okay. it's the same for bosses killed in completion. The only thing that changes is the difficulty multiplier. We got 31k and the difficulty multiplier was 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure when we came out of veteran yesterday, we only got like 30k or something like that. 31 so, so, uh 31, So if, if you're yeah. legitimately running for okay, so that's four more shards. And yep. more rewards. So, to be fair, Simulacrum. So that... I got three rings. Yeah, I got like three rings, an amulet, and the Simulacrum. So, I'm going to throw this out there. We're going to do another test in Veteran. We did Veteran yesterday. The rewards are identical. So, the only thing we can really have to test is when we get to doing Nightmare and Apocalypse to see if you really get the rewards cranked out and put up for what you yep. want. But... For the idea, 20 minutes, that took like 20 minutes, you're getting that much stuff, in an hour, you're tripling that. So in an hour, we're gonna have our corrupted shards, how many, well, it's, well that's the corrupted luminite count at? Uh, we're at five. Mm -hmm. We got five corrupted luminite that whole run? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
crazy. So as you can see, we uh, we got some serious rewards out of that. And like I said, I got a gun. So I got an amulet and two rings. You got three rings? Yep, I got three rings. Okay. And then when you think about inventory-wise, we went into that with, what, one? No, zero corrupted shards, so that's half our zero run of corrupted, corrupted shards. Sh yes. If you are looking for corrupted shards, I think the easiest difficulty is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Big time, big time. So, uh, yeah, there. that's your. That's farming, though. That's This is how you farm in Remnant 2. I unless you need to farm for Blood Moon Essence, then you need to check out my How to Force a Blood Moon video. Also, I will link the video for the Death Dealer for you. And this isn't quite over because I will come back and maybe clip in. We're going to do a veteran run of the same thing just to compare. But from what I saw yesterday, that was an identical reward palette. The only thing, like Fennin said, is we're seeing a little bit less XP because of that difficulty modifier on the XP. I, I just, I can't say enough how that's, this is exactly where you should be farming. Yep. Exactly mm. where you should be farming. 100%. I think you're 100% correct. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, and your prism levels continue going. So we got a full and a quarter prism level for that. So that's how much and, it leveled uh, up a prism, which is pretty from crazy. My, from my fresh prism, it was six levels. Six levels. That is wild. You can really push that up like that. So... Yeah, welcome yeah. to uh, Farming Heaven, all y'all remnant heads. If you don't know this yet, if you're interested in getting into the game and you're interested in how to crank up your character and put them into the OP level, you know, start with Survivor, Boss Rush mode, and just keep going. You're going to get what you need. Your builds will get better. It'll be challenging at first. Maybe start with the, the three boss run and then go to Trial by Fire. But once you can handle that, or if you have anyone in the community, hit the Discord. You can check my Discord. You can jump in there. Fennin and I are often playing. I'm busy, obviously. I got lots of games on the go, but we're running this, and if you need help getting through, that's the thing. So, you know, there's a huge community for Remnant 2 still, and uh, it's a great game, so that's a good way to do it. Um, you should hear a little bit about the veteran run when it's done, and then uh, this video is wrapped up. It's a little long, so thanks for sticking with us, and we'll catch you on uh, on the end. Woo -woo. Mm. All right, everybody. We just did a test run on uh, veteran difficulty for the trial by fire to see what the consumables and the drops were like. It's negligible. The only real difference we've noticed is that you're getting three, 4,000 more XP per run. Uh, Not too much worth it. <laughs> yeah. If you're farming, you're going to want to farm. I'd say, well, we are going to do a test. I'm going to put this video up, but we are going to test the, uh, the next level of the nightmare. boss rush yeah the nightmare boss rush well no we're not going to test nightmare or veteran or uh apocalypse oh we're sorry gonna, yeah the we're next gonna, tier yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna tr try the third tier of boss rush and see what that yields but as far as i'm concerned like for the fact of how 20 ish minutes you can get that done and get those rewards in an hour you're set you're on route so it's really oh, yeah. a great way to farm all kinds of neat stuff in the game and uh yeah that's it so i think i'm gonna sign off fen thanks so much for coming along and doing all this testing with me i really appreciate it you guys in the community Ooh. my remnant members all my general members thanks so much we really appreciate you guys coming around we've been having a blast uh playing all the games but especially remnant 2 this game is very special to us we really do love it and uh we love kind of looking at stuff like this and there'll be more to come in the future builds and uh and other tips and tricks and hints they just got to come up at the right point <laughs> adios Peace.